So the third product that is in the HCP line is called Lipicept, and it's actually quite different than the others. And it has a specific purpose, which the, the first two we discussed, the Fibrenza and Absorb, seem to have a gener general health effect on the body. Mm -hmm. But seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, the Lipicept seems to be designed with one thought in mind. That's exactly right. Helping, helping to uh, manage and, and reduce cholesterol, uh, reducing cholesterol issues in general is, is, the, is the premise behind Lipicept. So I guess this would be the perfect alternative to the, um, oh, you have to take a statin drug for the rest of your life, sir. I absolutely cannot say that. <laughs> um, but I do have a lot of practitioners that are, let's just say, recommending this first before. And, and I'll tell you what, truth be told, I think that it actually comes in many cases from, uh, from end user preference. Listen, what can I try before I go down that road? What can I try? And, and Lipicept definitely does fit the bill on that. Um, well, let me ask, does Lipicept uh, lower your coenzyme Q10 levels? Not at all. What are the other downsides of taking Lipicept? Zero. None. No joint are, pains? No, no side effects, no contraindications, no interactions with anything. Um, it is very, very clean product, very, very safe product. Uh, it doesn't interact with anything. Even if you are on a statin, you can take this right alongside it. It's not going to interact at all. Um, it is very clean and safe product, and it, it, it works differently than a statin. The, the product is very much focused on making the liver more efficient in the way that it accepts the cholesterol that we add, the way that it processes and synthesizes that cholesterol, and the way it redistributes cholesterol back into the body by more efficiently sending the good cholesterol back in and the bad cholesterol out. Um, whereas certain other things out there work by, on suppressing certain functions that the liver has. I mean, cholesterol begins and ends in the liver, plain and simple. And a lot of, there's a lot of things out there that are specifically focused on one of the most efficient processes in the human body, which is the liver's ability to produce exactly the amount of cholesterol that the body, that that body needs. It's one of the most efficient processes in the human body, and there are a lot of things out there that are specifically targeting on suppressing that efficient that that efficiency. So, how effective is it? Like when somebody shows up and says, "Oh, I've been told I have total cholesterol three hundred. My LDLs are high." What do you hear from the field? Well, that's the cool thing with with this product. I mean, we work with a lot of doctors. Um, that's that in fact primarily with practitioners and, and different retailers around the country. Um, with that, we don't work with a whole lot in the way of consumers directly. So we don't have these tight relationships with a lot of them. Certainly if a consumer calls us up with a question about ingredients or dosing or things like that, of course we're going to do everything we can to help them. But um, we don't have that tight bond with a lot of different consumers. And the reason why I mention that is because with this product specifically, we're seeing something that I've never seen before. We have consumers that are proactively calling us up and saying, hey, I have my before and after blood work from the lab. You need to see this. And, and where can I send it so that you can look at this? And, and the, the, the feedback we're getting is just, it, it's unbelievable. It, it's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, the worst results so far that we've had sent to us, the very worst, was a 19% drop in their total cholesterol in a period of 90 days. And so the average typical that you would estimate? Well, the best one that I've had sent to us, I've heard, I've heard more pronounced results than this, but the best results that I've actually read on paper from a lab um, was a 40% drop in 60 days. Um, so anywhere between there. And, and that, was, that 40%, by the way, wasn't just total cholesterol. That was specifically LDL, the bad cholesterol. So... That's important to point out. Um, it is lowering the bad cholesterol. It is lowering, lowering total cholesterol. We are seeing reductions in triglycerides. We are seeing an increase in HDL. That's the good cholesterol. That's the number you want to see go up. And we are seeing an increase there too. All right. So let's say it this way. If 
you are told that your cholesterol is too high, you can try and adjust your diet. Then you can also try and add Lipicept to it and give it 60 days. Have yourself well, retested. Have yourself retested, and uh, let's see what your doctor says then. Absolutely. And, and we, now we do recommend a 90-day course on the product. Um, that being said, just like our other two products, it is completely guaranteed product. But like like you mentioned earlier, with Absorb, with Fibrenza, those are a, a, a subjective benefit. It's entirely up to I to the consumer. Do I feel different? And that that is true. And we still stand behind it, and, it, and we guarantee that they will. With this, our guarantee is very, very simple with this. Check your numbers before, check your numbers after. If you don't see a difference, we don't want you paying for it. And what's really cool is the product's been out since, uh, I think, June of 2016. We still have not had a single bottle returned. Not one. I mean, hey, hey. <laughs> I know. I, it's 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 really really awesome. Um, it is incredibly reliable, um, and it's not based around red yeast rice. It's not based around niacin. Um, red yeast rice. If you look at the long term side effects from using red yeast rice, you're going to see that it reads very similar to the let's just say the fine print at the end of a Lipitor commercial. Right. It's no different, really. The mechanism of action is practically identical. Practically identical. Um, but ni niacin certainly has its fair share of baggage too. Do they work? I'm not going to say they don't work. There's tons of research to say otherwise. Of course they do, to an extent, for most people. Um, but they do bring a lot of baggage with them. Um, this, this product has no baggage, no side effects, no inter interactions, no contraindications with anything. And again, we recommend a 90-day course on it. But we're seeing, we've seen benefits at 30 days. We've seen benefits at 60 and 90 days too. Um, and we will stand behind the product completely regardless. If, if Even in 30 days, if they come back and say, hey, it didn't do anything for me, okay. We got your back. 